Power measures the amount of energy transferred into or out of a given system every second. And therefore, electric power is going to measure the rate at which electric energy is transferred to or from a given component. And for any given component with a voltage V across it and a current I flowing through it, the instantaneous electric power is P equals V times I, where the units are watts, also known as joule per second. Now that is for any component. Specifically, if the component is a resistor, then this formula can be changed a bit because if we have a resistor, we have Ohm's law that says V equals Ri. And if V equals Ri, then we can write Ri times I, which is R I squared. But you could also argue, using the same Ohm's law, that I is V over R. And therefore, we would get V times V over R, which is equal to V squared over R. Now, of course, they're both equivalent, but remember that they only apply for a resistor because you need Ohm's law to be able to write this and this. So you need V equals Ri. Now, whether a given component supplies power or dissipates power, that depends on the component. It also depends on the circuit, because some could do either. But here, if we have a resistor, you can be sure of one thing. The resistor will only dissipate power. And this effect is called the Joule effect. As the charges try to flow through the resistor and make their way, well, they bump into the atoms of the material that makes up the resistor, and therefore, they heat the resistor up. So the energy is lost as thermal energy. That's called the Joule effect. And sometimes, you'll see this referred to as Joule's law. But really, all it is is the instantaneous power dissipated by a resistor.